More than 150 families are still holding out hope their loved ones will somehow be found alive. A memorial along a fence, just one of the ways Surfside is staying strong. Meaningful messages and even items pulled from the rubble serving as beacons of hope. And 7 News reporter Vanessa Benita joins us from one of those growing memorials this evening, Vanessa. That's right. First responders have gathered what they're finding in this rubble. They're putting it in this memorial and it's so heartbreaking. You see children's toys and teddy bears that you know were once inside of a home. Now, while many are praying and have not lost hope, others came here today to pay respects. One by one, family and friends of the missing walk up to the memorial. Then they see their loved one and the heart breaks. Grief sets in. For some, a touch of a photograph just for a second brings them closer. I just hope they didn't suffer and that the family can find some closure. Tim Venables knew Sophia, the president of Paraguay's sister-in-law. It was just laid back and easy going and relaxed and they had a lot of money, but she was just so genuine and didn't care and just cared about her children. And she, was, she was very, very nice. You could, feel, you could feel God in her. You could feel the Holy Spirit in her. Irina Poliskaya points to her family friend and physician, Ruslan Manashirov. Such a brilliant man, very good doctor. <sighs> he was young and handsome and just married. The newlyweds moved to this building two months ago. And he was on the seventh floor and still missing, so we feel the best for Kim. Wish the best, but we feel the worst. Reality has already set in for many. God takes our best angels early on, so we have faith that he's, uh, they're all with God and they're all watching over all of us. And we know we have faith we'll see them again someday. Christina Fuentes says Mark Guara, his wife Anita, and their kids Lucia and Emma were like family. Quite the adventurous family. They traveled a lot. They traveled together as a family. They did everything together as a family. They loved each other a lot. And now their pictures have been placed on this wall. First responders have also been placing items found at the building collapse site at the memorial. A Nerf gun with concrete sediment placed there as well. A football, even a Winnie the Pooh teddy bear pulled from the rubble. However, for many, while the faces here may still be missing, they're not lost. Never. Their spirits or their souls will always remain among us, always, always, for all of them, all of them, for everybody here. So this is a second memorial that has popped up behind St. Joseph's Catholic Church here in Surfside. The other one is about to receive a box, a truckload rather, of roses that will be delivered to that other memorial. But many coming here praying today and they haven't lost hope, but others just saying goodbye to their loved ones and friends. Reporting live in Surfside this evening, Vanessa Medina, 7 News.